Hey guys, welcome back to Killer Look. My name is Katie. Today's tutorial is all about just quick, easy, my, you know, I'm not sure what to do, so I'm just gonna throw some wing liner on and one shadow in my lashes, I'm gonna bounce out. That's how real life can get. So if y'all wanna see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Let's get started. I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I'm just gonna spray it on my face and let it get a little tacky, and then we're gonna start in with our foundation. Do y'all love this? Do you love it? <laughs> so cute, right? It's not. We are gonna color correct this blemish using the NYX Color Correcting Palette in green. And just put it right on top of that little ugly, ugly thing. I have the lights turned up way bright because my skin has been really, really weird lately. Okay, using my NYX Total Control Foundation, I am in the shade Buff. Instagram. Uh, uh, uh. Using the NYX brush number 22, we're just gonna buff that on my skin. How I feel about this brush, honestly. I don't know how I like it. All right, going in with sharp, with Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in fair neutral. Um, I'm going to go under my eyes, my nose, forehead, and chin. I'm going in with my small little fluffy brush. I'm going to just blend that into my skin. I haven't been doing my makeup lately because I came in contact with like a brand that literally I became so allergic to, my eyes swelled up for like a couple days. So that's kind of why I've been missing. So I was like, yo, my eye is messed up. I'm going over that with a damp beauty blender, very lightly. I'm gonna do my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in dark brown. Clean up using the same foundation drops in a small concealer brush. Now we're gonna set our under eye in our nose and our chin using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. Next, we're gonna bronze using Physi Physicians Formula. Duh. Hold up, I gotta lower y'all down. Uh, bronze Booster. Duh. It's my favorite bronzer. My favorite. And then just on the temples, I have a pretty low forehead, so I don't want to bronze at all. Maybe me in the middle, just a little low. So I always outline and then work it upwards. I don't go down. I don't like to pull it down. Use my wrist like... I'm not going to do that again. And down my neck. Cover up my chin strap. My eye is watering. Next, let's contour our nose using the same bronzer and a flat shading brush from Sephora. And sometimes if I use the camera instead of a mirror, it just works. And yeah, I do this, because I have a, I have this bump in my nose and it's crazy. We're gonna use a single eyeshadow. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Burnt Orange. Uh, I'm going to work in my crease and down below. Now I've never used the Anastasia shadows ever. I've heard great things about them. So I ran to Sephora and said, I have to have this burnt orange shadow. It's really natural. It's really cool for just like, I wanna go on the go but have some color if you don't want to use bronzer. So let's see. 
I'm just starting on the outside in little fluffy strokes. Ooh, it's super pigmented. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, I only tapped into that pot like twice. And it's this pigmented. And I use very light hand when I do my eyeshadows. I don't, I'm not trying to define my crease. I'm just putting on a nice nooch shadow using a large fluffy brush. Single brush, single shadow. I'm so worried about this eye. Maybe if I don't think about it, it won't keep watering. And and just start at the outer crease using small circles and then working towards the inside. Hold up. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Here it comes. I don't know why my stomach's upset. Isn't that weird? Did I talk about that? Should I even talk about that? Do y'all ever do that? You just wake up in the morning and you're fine. But then all of a sudden you're like, yo, <laughs> I don't feel good. And I like to drag my eyeshadow out because I'm gonna do a, a wing. My eye will let me. And using the Morphe 149 brush, it's a nice pointed tapered brush. I'm gonna go underneath using the same shadow. Blush, the True Match by L'Oreal and Baby Blossom. Brush from Sephora. I have blush brushes. I have a ton of them, I just don't use them. Ours, Albatross, we're gonna highlight. On our nose, forehead, here, 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 and here. cheeks. I'm going to use Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. I'm really excited. I've tried this out from a friend and I loved the formula. I loved how the pen itself was really soft. Very like black. I used um I'm wondering if I'm supposed to shake it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I used this one forever. I was like religious with it. It was the Revlon Felt Tip Liner. And I loved it, especially if you're learning how to do wings because it's very firm and it doesn't like move on you, The, you know? So, and I really like this, but I'm excited to graduate. So here we go. Wings on camera. Start with the out corner and then go up. with So Lashy Blast Pro by CoverGirl. Yes, mama. I'm gonna go in using the NYX Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. And then we're gonna go over it with the NYX Plump It Up in Jessica. But first, we're going to line our lips using ColourPop Boys Town as usual. I start at my Cupid's bow and down and I work my way out. Then you're done. And with matte lipstick, don't like blot your lips together. Just 
let it dry. That's, that's the only way. Using darker lip liner, it helps make your lips look fuller. Just go over it so it blends. You don't want, you know, obvious. Yes. Now using the NYX Plump It Up in Jessica. We're just gonna go over it. I'm sure it's right. All right guys, so that's the end of this tutorial. I even curled my hair. You guys, it's been like, I feel like it's been forever since I even like did any makeup or anything like that. Anyways, follow me, subscribe, like. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram for any more details or anything you may have missed or want to watch or keep up. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank you.